Okay, let's talk about uh, retopology in Blender. So retopologizing is when we manually create a new surface for an object, whether that's a sculpted character or a, a 3D scan. Uh, often they're high resolution assets and we need a better mesh to animate and texture. So there's a couple steps um, in Blender. If we want to do it without add-ons, which is it's a good way to do it, it's fine. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to make sure, go to Edit Preferences, make sure Loop Tools is on and F2. Okay, enable those. Next, we want to set our base mesh. So let's rename this to be on non selectable. So we open this little drop down in our outliner. Let's enable this guy, little arrow. We're going to toggle that off. Now we can't select it, which is what we want. Okay, now we need to make a new mesh. So let's just make a plane. Let's go to edit mode. Bring this up. Scale it way down. I'm going to, yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Now what we want to do, you up these menus, if you can't see it, scroll over, turn on the magnet, go to face project, turn off project individual elements. Now let's just move it on one of the axes and then we can see that it's projected. But we still have some weird things going on, right? So in our outliner or in our properties window, go to object properties, go to viewport display and check on in front. Now we can always see it in front of everything. The other thing you might want to do scroll over to viewport shading options you can turn on back face culling now now we won't be able to see it but now let's give it a nice color so there's two ways we can do it you go add a material scroll all the way down here go to viewport display change the color and that works because See, our color is set to material. The other way to do it is in Object Properties, the Viewport Display Color. We go to Object. Okay, so that's fine with me. Whatever. Um, now, we want to add a shrink wrap modifier this is in deform shrink wrap i usually i change it to project either most of them will work i'm going to click this guy select your base mesh and we're off to the races okay So once we are here, um, there's a few other optional steps. So let's add an edge loop. I'm going to delete this face, and then I'm going to add a mirror modifier. Oh, the other thing you want to make sure you do, this is important, and turn on on cage thing here. So see, when that's on, then we can see our the modifier changed in our edit mode uh, you, you want that on okay and now for your mirror modifier just make sure clipping is on and then we are good okay the other optional thing you could do is you could add a displacement modifier if you want to and you'll see 
basically if you want to push it out a little bit along the normals you can do that I'm not going to do that you could also add a subdivision surface uh, never model with this on just use it to check for your model being okay so toggle that on and off uh, if you do that, the other thing you might want to do is go to your viewport display and turn on wireframe. And then turn off optimal display and you'll see your, your topology. Okay, now for some of the retopology tools. So one of the, there's a lot of ways we can do things here. Uh, one nice way to make loops is control right click it's gonna match the angle from your last selection we can move things you'll see it's following our surface uh, we can use extrude we can edge slide with G twice GG G bro. I just remember that one. Um, okay, and then there's a few other important things. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's make base here. So we can connect these by selecting both and hitting F to fill. Or if with F2 enabled, we can select this and hit F for fill. Okay. The other thing we can do with F2 is if we have a corner like this, we've got edges coming out of this, hit F and it'll give us a, a face. Um, so one thing to note here, so this little guy, auto merge verts, if you turn that on, Now that is merged. Edge slide this up. Okay. Uh, the other tool you'll want to know about. Uh, let's make a little more geo. Boop, boop, boop. So if we make this sort of grid here, then select that loop. If you go to face, the face menu, but you can also use control F, go to grid fill. I guess it didn't like that. Might need to fill this in. So let's fill that in, add two edge loops. And now we'll go to grid fill and there we go now we can see things are looking okay and that should get you started with retopology